I'm super excited to share this new tutorial with you all today. We're going to dive into the world of 3D animation and create something truly amazing. Today, we're going to make an epic animation in Prisma 3D, and then we're going to take it to the next level by importing it into Blender. If you're new here, consider yourself that you are in the right place. So let's, let's get started and see what we can create together. We're going to explore the powerful features of Prisma 3D 3.1 and learn how to create stunning animations. And then, I'll take our animation to Blender, get ready to learn some awesome tips and tricks along the way, and let's make something amazing together. Alright, let's get started with setting up our project in Prisma 3D. First, I'll choose our template and set up our scene. Next, I'll drop our model to the scene to start the animation. But before we even talk about animation, this model don't have any rig yet, so I need to add quick rigging to it. I'm using one-click Ike rigging tools to make the rigging for this, so I can input our inbuilt animation template to save us some little time on the process. So I click on the object, go to the properties, you can see this box icon here, click on it, and below right here you can see the bone armature sign, then click on it and select auto rig. Then you can see some point all over the character, place them to all joint of the character and hit submit. Then wait for it to calculate all the process. Then you have your rig generated, then let's move to the animation. For the animation, let's use the inbuilt asset animation library for this to save us some little time in process so I can go straight to the exporting to import in Blender. So I go to animation, select the character, and click on add animation. Then I choose the jogging asset. As you can see, this apply to our character. So let's export the animation. I click on the export tab here. Then I select the GLTF export format and I use Zerchiever to arrange the file properly, I pack this as zip file. And let's name it new animation, then I select the location to save the file. And I choose the Blender file from here. Then I click save, after that I go to the Blender file. You can see this is the new animation file but it's zip file, so click on it select extract. And click extract here, and let's go to Blender to import our animation. Here now we are in Blender. To import the animation go to the top left corner side here. Click on file go to import, click on it. You can see this display various types of all the file format to import, but I choose GLTF format, which is the animation file we export from Prisma 3D earlier, so I click on it. I choose the file, then I click import GLTF. Now here we go you can see our animation is displaying. And that's it, we've successfully created an animation in Prisma 3D, and imported it into Blender. I hope you learned something new and had fun following along with this tutorial. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the steps, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials and tips on 3D animations. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.